let me ask you a question how much would you buy this t-shirt for that's it okay let me add few more assumptions to it um assume that this t-shirt was worn by sachin tendulkar one more assumption now the same t-shirt he had worn when he scored his 100th 100 now what hi guys see rachana ranade here and i welcome you all to another lecture which is on valuations by now you might have understood that how the price of a t-shirt changed with the changes in assumptions and with the changes in the different scenarios, right? So please try to understand that if you want to calculate the target price of a company's share, let's say after one year, after two years, whatever, in multiple scenarios, you need to have good knowledge about valuations. You can understand the valuations only when you have a comparatively strong knowledge about the basic fundamental analysis. So you need to have some basic knowledge about balance sheet analysis, p and analysis, and then you will be in a position to grasp valuations in the truest spirit. For you all, those who are the serious investors, those who want to learn more and more in stock market, those who want to stay in the game of share market for a longer time, like Sachin did for cricket, I think the valuation series is a must for you. What all are you going to, going to get in this valuation series? Number one, you're going to get a thorough knowledge of various valuation methods like PE, PB, EV, EBITDA, price to sales, and few more concepts. Along with that, you're also going to get a certificate after you successfully complete the course. You're going to get an ebook on valuations. You're also going to get a WhatsApp number or an email ID as well, where you can ask your queries and my team will be happy to help you and sort out the queries. In addition to this, starting January 2021, I'm going to conduct live Q&A sessions for all you who have enrolled for the valuation course. You can ask your queries directly to me. Every alternate month, we are going to come up with these live sessions. I hope you have understood what all value you are going to get from this course. It said that value is what you get and price is what you pay. What price are you going to pay for this? The price for this course is actually 5,000, but all you people who are going to enroll yourselves early, that is before 12th of December, an early bird discount is going to be given without any coupon code, where you will get this course only for 3,000 rupees. What I'm going to do right now is going to, I'm going to show you a glimpse of this course. In addition to this, after watching the glimpse, if you feel that I need to know a little bit more about the course and then I would buy the course for you all, I've also posted one free lecture on valuation, which you'll find on my website, rachanaranadir.com. But as of now, let's check out the glimpse. Let's move on with understanding the importance of valuation now. Let me be very honest with you. This is not my example, which I'm going to tell you right now. I was doing a little bit of research uh, for this valuation series. And that's where I came across a very interesting example, which was given by Professor Damodaran. And uh, without asking his permission, I am uh, telling the same example to you all. But I have given an enough disclaimer that this is not my example. Okay. He had quoted the importance of valuation with a very nice example of lemmings. Okay. For those who have never seen a lemming, it looks like a small rat. Okay. They're called as rodent. There's a rodents category. Okay. Neither proper animals or maybe subtypes of animal only. But it's a rodent like a rat. So, all these go always in groups. In Hindi, we call it as a jhund. Jhund mein jate. They, they always go along together. Okay. So, uh, he, he told a story where, wherein there is a big steep cliff. Okay. And all the rodents start climbing up the cliff. At one point of time, the cliff ends. And then there is a steep fall into the valley. Okay. Now, what happens is that these rodents are running with full speed. And the first line goes to the end and crashes in the valley. Okay. The second line of rodents, you can imagine all these rodents are in a line one after the other. Okay, first crashes in the valley. Second also crash in the valley. Now, maybe the third, third uh, level of rodents, third uh, in row, they are also running at such a fast pace. They may might have understood that, oh my God, there's a steep fall here, but they might not have been able to control their speed. And that's why they also crashed. Same might have happened with the fourth and fifth line as well. But now wait. The sixth line at least, the sixth person is seeing that every other 
my breed of rodents they are going till a certain point and they are dropping off they are falling off they are dying but then there might be those six seventh layers of uh, rodents who might get a feeling we are assuming that they have the thinking capacity also okay they might be getting the feeling that they know something that i don't know and that is the reason why they are going off the cliff there might be something on the other side of the cliff i don't know about that so let me follow them okay so there are few set of rodents who are going into the same line they are following the first few ones just with an assumption that they know something which i might not know and that's why they are also jumping off the cliff there might be in the let us say now in the ninth or tenth line there are few smart rodents who go till the end and at the end they understand at the edge of the cliff they might understand that oh my god that's a deep fall here they might take a u turn and go down but these might be very few rodents and who might who might enjoy the upside but they don't end up in the downside in fact they take a turn and become safe i hope by now you might have understood that i'm comparing these rodents with these lemmings basically with investors okay this is a hill there will be many investors who start climbing the hill they start enjoying the upside in the share price okay share price is going from 100 200 300 400 okay in the same journey in the 100 journey more people join then more people join there is a group of people who is joining this journey everyone is trying to ride the entire upside some people entered at 200 some at 300 some at 400 whatever okay everyone is riding this upside but no one knows exactly what is the final destination no one knows what is the end point what is the top point at which which we should be selling and then the share price starts hitting a continuous lower circuit tap 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 okay many fall prey to this lower circuits but as i mentioned there might be some smart investors very few of them who might be able to do a u turn okay and so they enjoy the upside but they don't fall a trap to the downside okay and there is one last category of investors who might not be able to take a u turn at the last moment they fall off the cliff but they have a life jacket assume they have a parachute with them so they might fall they will also be damaged but the damage might be less okay and these smart category investors where the damage might be less are those who are a little bit learned who have done their own research and they know what should be the best ideally the best valuation for this and i should not be going beyond this point okay so in simple words if i compare all these uh, lemmings with investors three categories of investors one who are smart enough to run the upside who enjoy the profits but unfortunately don't know where to sell so all these are unrealized profit and end up in the valley second very smart investors who enjoy the upside know when to quit and third those category of investors they enjoy the ride not sure when to exit but they know what should be the fair valuation this should be the price ideally i should not go beyond this point so they might have to end up in some downside but they will not have enormous losses okay so this life jacket i am comparing with the life jacket of knowledge and this is the knowledge of valuation okay that is the importance of valuation so i hope this small example was is is very much a, a pretty good example for you to understand why valuation is important for any investor who is doing fundamental analysis while researching while selecting a specific stock well i hope you have enjoyed this short clipping from the valuation series again i'm repeating if you really found it interesting don't forget to check out the free lecture number 1 on valuation series as well and if you really feel that you should invest in knowledge then this is the right time to enroll yourself for the valuation course till then take care jai hind and bye bye